um, kia ora, ko Samantha Kamrera to Kingwa, ko te Opori me te Aroanga Aiwi. Um, I applied for this internship hoping to gain knowledge and experience surrounding te ao Māori in the health sector. My topic is what you would think to be straightforward and to the point to explore an understanding of Māori systems approaches, however straightforward it was not. So I'm just going to dive straight into it. My main question when starting my research was, what is a Māori systems approach? I had not heard of such a thing before and I had a million and one questions. Google was also no help as there was no one answer. This topic is broad and one that researching has been eye-opening, eye but with an open-ended question of what a Māori systems approach is, the additional questions came with it. This was overwhelming and something I could not get my head around until after my interviews were completed. I found an answer. There was not going to be just one answer to this question and this question had questions. What is this? What are these? The main focus, is there more than one approach? What effects does an approach as such have on our community? Are they positive or negative? How are they different from a westernized approach? Does it affect any specific age group? How are these implemented within schools, workplaces, online? To answer some of these questions, the Healthy Families website best described what a Māori systems approach is. And from this answer, I also realized the difference between a Māori approach in comparison to a westernized one. Our tūpuna are the reason why. The ability to keep our reo and the cultural traditions and practices of our tūpuna alive are the reasons for a Māori systems approach. So some whakāro. Um, when deciding who to interview, I started with Fano from home. I grew up with Pa Chris and Fa Eliza's daughters. They are both influential within the Palmerston North Māori community through the eye of not only everything kaupapa for Māori, but primarily education. When I asked Pa Chris what a Māori systems approach meant to him, his answer was as quoted. Obviously, you start back at the end result and then you work your way backwards. That's pretty much how we design our thinking in the first place. The Māori systems approach are looking directly at what those measures of success are first from our worldview and then tailoring it to achieve it. A westernised community does the opposite. When having a conversation with Haley for my second interview, I was made aware of a number of points and questions, more questions that needed answers. Something that really spoke to me was um, with a Mataranga Māori kaupapa, the outcome is always well-being. I am fortunate enough to work at Tutonu here in Hamilton as a rehab coach and strength and conditioning trainer. Tutonu is driven by holistic healthcare through collaborating Māori, Māori cultural values epistemologies and Western-based clinical practices. So when I asked my boss, the founder of Tūtūru, what a Māori systems approach meant to him, his answer was as straightforward as it comes. It is that Tūtūru itself is a business or a Māori systems approach. Some Māori system approaches practiced through the services within this business include the community garden, a nutritionist, rungo Māori practitioners, programs for our rangatahi which address current issues physiotherapy, strength and conditioning, and personal training. All services are in support of one another as one, once one patient is finished with the physio, for example, or one of the rungo Māori practitioners, they are passed on to the likes of me as a rehab coach to help return them to the function, to full function and full confidence. This was my third and final interview. If a holistic view is taken of a Māori systems approach, there are three common Māori health and wellbeing models this could include. Mason Jury's Te Whare Tapa Whā, represented by an illustration of a whare, with four dimensions including um, taha wairua, spiritual aspect, taha whānau, social and family aspect, taha tinana, physical or bodily aspect, and taha heningaro, the mental or psychological aspect. Rose Petty's Te Whake, represented by an illustration of an octopus, a different representation representation of well-being for the eyes, head, and its eight tentacles. And Mason Jury's Te Pai Mahutonga, represented by the Southern Cross. The four key aspects of health promotion include Māori ora, cultural identity, wai ora, physical environment, toi ora, healthy lifestyles, and toi oranga, participation in society. The two, point, two pointers represent Ngā Manukura, community leadership, and Te Mana Whakahaere, autonomy. In all honesty, I was not taught Te Whara Tapa Whā until I attended uni a university. 
However, this since then is a model of health I find myself often referring to. As Te Whara Tapa Whā is known to have four dimensions to it, to, to it representing tenana, wairua, heningaro and whānau. After an extensive amount of research, I found that in 1997, Moyo introduced Te Whara Tapa Rima. This includes a fifth dimension being added to it known as whenua. As whenua means land, in another concept, it also means pusenza. The land is seen as the source of life and nourishment as much as what the placenta is with providing oxygen and nutrients to growing pupae. The, in the introduction of this fifth dimension was later declined but is still being pursued. Tefiki is a model of health I had not heard of until researching for this internship. This health model is demonstrated by an octopus with the eyes representing the overall well-being of the individual and their family and its eight tentacles representing different parts of a person's well-being. So um, the Hua Parakore uh, framework was introduced to me by Hayley. This framework was developed by Te Waka Kaiora, the National Māori Organics Authority. However, I found this framework through both of Jessica Hutchings' handbooks, <coughs> Te Mahi Māra Hua Parakore, a Māori Food Sovereignty Handbook, and Te Mahi One One Hua Parakore, a Māori Soil Sovereignty and Wellbeing Handbook. When watching Ayla Hoyt's webinar on Māra Mataka, she explains how for many generations our tūpuna lived and survived by the Māra Mataka as this is the way they prepared, harvested and planted all of their kai as they were in tune with nature. This kaupapa could also to our tūpuna be seen as inter intergenerational healing. Te Waka Kaiora states that, <clears throat> that tikanga remains the, the cornerstone of the hua parakore kaupapa and getting this right remains an ongoing challenge. We have learned that we are safest when we have our kaumātua and kuia with us. This implies that the voice of our tūpuna their knowledge, and their knowledge is the guide to the kaupapa this of this Māori systems approach. The kaupapa of Hua Parakore is a well-known guide to māra kai within Te Ao Māori. These principles also align with mahinga kai and the māra mataka. The māra mataka or the Māori lunar calendar is set either on or before the full moon and across 30 days with one, with one month of the year having an extra day. It includes five phases with each phase predicting energy or feelings. So, is, so there is rākau nui, the high full moon, whero, low no moon, ohoata, moderate medium moon, tamatia, unpredictable, left full heading to no moon, tangaroa, fruitful after full moon. There are phases of days to be giving back to the ocean, giving back to the land, giving back to the forest and giving back to the skies heavens. For example, gardening, fishing, anything to do with growing or gathering and sourcing food from the land or sea will have the best outcomes if the phases of Māra Mataka are followed. I was blindsided by what was right in front of me, that being that Toi Tangata itself is in and provides Māori systems approaches. With Toi Tangata's vision being Tangatū, Tangata, oh, tangata Tū, Tangata Ora, our whānau are healthy, active and able to achieve to their full potential, their mission being Mate Matauranga Tuku Iho Katipu Ka Ora Katoi Tangata E. To unleash Matauranga Māori concepts for all people to be healthy and active. Their key priority areas include Nga Manukura, leadership, Māori Ora, cultural identity, Te Mana Whakahaere, autonomy, Waiora, physical environment, Toi Ora, healthy lifestyles, and Te Oranga, participation in society. So what does it mean for my future? Um, Co-design. Co-design means to collaboratively, co collaboratively design services. For New Zealand, it means Māori and Western communities come together and make use of the treaty. This was also recognised within one of my interviews for the need of this to be implemented in order for change to happen. For our tauhi, in this day and age, there is one key influ influence on our rangatai, this being social media. What can we do more, more of Oh, and what information is openly available to them, but not only for them, but for all age groups. Te Whare Tapa Whā needs to be introduced to students earlier in life. A Māori systems approach recently implemented within New Zealand Whare Kura is Kapahaka now being a part of the NCA curriculum. 
This was creating a space in schools for Tamariki to find their identity through their experience while gaining knowledge about the living New Zealand's culture. Equality as a whole, that is going to take some time in order to take effect, but small steps implemented today are one step closer than we were yesterday. Again, returning to the recognition and use of the treaty will implement equality between westernised and Māori communities. With this topic of a Māori systems approach being as broad as it is, I still have a number of questions left unanswered. This experience has definitely been one to remember. From our hiding a kiro to roa, I experienced things I was yet to experience prior and hope to someday do again. Thanks to Renee and Ranginui, we experienced what our ancestors lived daily. We delved deep into history of Orkere and the connections of the surrounding areas, Otoeti and Makitu. Out for dinner, kota catching, hunting wallabies in New Zealand, walking in the lake for three hours and staying up until all hours of the morning bonding. Apart from our first day meeting at the office, this was, an, this was unfortunately our only get together. But through this experience, we have learned more than just what our personal projects were focused on. The many teachings, experiences, knowledge and friendships gained are ones not to be forgotten. I set out hoping to gain knowledge and experience surrounding te ao Māori in the health sector. I have just done, I have done just that and more and I'm beyond thankful for the, for the opportunity that arose and I've had the privilege of completing through Toi Tangata. Awesome, Sammy. Kilda. Anyone got any partai or comments? I'll pick someone. Um, I was interested to hear that you hadn't heard of um, Te Whara Tapawha at high school. Um, I'm a health and PE teacher. So are there some other things that you wish you had learned um, about Matauranga Māori at school through health? Or related to health? It's definitely something, um, like just with how easy it is to implement into everyday life, like if you're struggling with one thing or if, you, if you're lacking one area, then it affects all the others. So yeah, I definitely wish I'd learned that earlier on. Kia ora. No, no. No. Um, kia ora Sammy, um, just from listening to your corridor and thanks for like being really honest around how huge the kaupapa was for you um, because you're just bang on, bang on. Um, I had no idea what Māori Systems Approaches was when I came into this job. I've been out of the house sector for a little bit and then coming back in and I was just like, oh, the language has changed again. Um, but it's just an indication of how we have our own tirohanga Māori or our own ways of philosophy, um, how we look at things and how we try every day to implement them in a, you know, the circle and the square thing. Um, and so how we navigate two of those two of those worlds at the same time and accepting that they actually just don't, they don't merge. Mm -hmm. um, so we have this thing, and this is not to take away from anybody, but this, we have this thing called Māori Systems Approaches to help us try and convince the funders to give us the putia in order for us to actually implement it in the communities um, in our own ways and so all the people that you've spoken to and even your own whakaro you've fig actually figured that out um, and and I totally hear your comments around not learning um, uh, those models of health or our, our, our ways of describing um, how we achieve or try and achieve um, outcomes for Māori, um, but when our, our, you know, grandparents and our tupuna before us didn't actually think about it like that, it was just a way of being. And so now we have to try and find out ways to articulate how we want to, you know, be well. Um, but thank you to um, Hayley for helping you out and other people that have helped you out. And yeah, namahi. Thank you.